our topic is to our introduction to e-commerce which is the cover in the, in the first module of our syllabus and we are group 12 including me Shayan Ghosh and my other friends are Tuhin Hajira, Sumon Ganguly and Iyash Singhania and here is the at first we should learn what is the commerce and commerce is the division of a trade or production which deals with the exchange of goods and services from producer to the final consumer and it comprises the trading of something of economic value such its economic value such as goods services and information or money between two or more entities next slide please and here is the what is e-commerce e-commerce is the one of the important part of the commerce and it commonly known as electronic marketing and it consists of buying and selling goods and services over an electronic system such as the internet the other computer networks and e-commerce is the purchasing selling and exchanging goods and services over computer networks through which transaction or terms of sales are performed electronically in the broader area next slide and at, you should know why we use the e-commerce as are the essential part of our daily life because e-commerce is the low entry cost and it reduces the transaction cost and it access to the global market in larger area in minimum time and it is the secure secure market share also next slides and here is the process of the e-commerce and when a consumer uses the web browser to connect to the home page of a merchant website on the internet if the consumer browses the catalog of this product and various product and it selects the item to purchase which is his own is his own will and the selected items are placed in the electronic equivalent of a shopping cart and the next when the consumer is ready to complete the purchase of the selected items she provides a bill to end of the ship address for the purchase and delivery and when the merchant web server receives this information it computes the total cost of his the order including tax shipping fee and handling charge and displays the total amount to the customer next slides yes make the transition quick otherwise it will take whole afternoon please quick and the, the next step is the customer can now provide payment information such as the credit card number and the submit the order and when the card number is validated and the order if the completed at the commerce server site the merchant site display a receipt confirming the customer purchase the commerce server then site the forwards the order to a processing network for payment and processing and fulfillment next slides and just yeah, if you can close your screen presenting i will present the screen yeah wait uh, this is b2b that is business to business B to B basically stands for business to business it consists of largest form of e-commerce this small is that buyer and seller are two different entities it is similar to manufacturer issuing goods to the retailer or wholesaler example Dell deals uh, computers and other associated accessories online but it is does not make up all those products so in uh, govern to deal those products first step is to purchase them from unlike businesses that is the producer of those products next slide Another type of e-commerce that is business to customer that is B2C. It is the model uh, taking businesses and customers interactions. The basic concept of this model is to sell the product online to the customers. B2C is direct trade between the company and the consumer and it provides 
direct uh, selling through online for example if you want to sell goods and services to customer so that anybody can purchase any products directly from suppliers website next slide and another one is b2e that is business to employee business to employee uh, electronic commerce uses and uh, inter businesses network which allows companies to provide product and or services to their employees typically companies use b2e network to automate employee related corporate processes next slide will be discussed by my friend twin yeah so thank you suman hello everyone suman hello everyone my name is tui najda and i am going to talk about c to c which stands for consumer to consumer so there are many sites offering free classifieds auctions and forums so where individuals can buy and sell for example paypal if i go with ebay's auction service it is a great example of where person to person transactions take place frequently go to the next slide so there are some major threats of e-commerce industries like phishing attack sql injection distributed denial of service denial of service etc go to the next slide go to the next slide yeah so some threats are there in brief like tax and payment conflict which means due to conflict between the user and the e-commerce they make double payment this kind of issues then we have financial fraud which include some authentication related fraud lastly e wallet hack which is also dangerous now go to the next slide yeah now coming to the prevention of threats using anti malware https or http plus ssl combined algorithms or or using payment gateway it can be prevented so next slide will be explained by my friend yash thank you फिजिकलोर and there is no need for a physical store and we can have a common availability of coupons and deals whereas the the disadvantages are there is always a lack of personal touch it is easier to compare prices there is an inability to experience the product before purchase and there is always a need for an internet accessing device and whereas in an stable internet connection coming to the next slide cyber law in india cyber law also called the it law so it is a law regarding information technology that includes computers and the internet and it is related to the legal informatics and supervises the digital circulation of information software information security and e-commerce it law does not consist of a separate area of law and it includes aspects of contract intellectual property privacy and data protection law some importance of the cyber law are it covers all the transactions over the internet it keeps eye on all activities over the internet and it touches every action in every action in cyberspace coming to the next slide advantages of the cyber law organizations are now able to carry out e-commerce using the legal infrastructure provided by the act <coughs> and the digital signatures have been given legal validity and sanction in the act it has opened the doors for the entry of the corporate companies for issuing digital signature certificates in the business of being certifying authorities and the it act also addresses the important issues of securities which are so critical to the success of the electronic transaction cyber law provides both hardware and software security coming to the last slide that is the future of e-commerce in india According to the Business World estimate, near about 60,000 new jobs will be created for the internet world alone in the next two years. E-commerce transactions are expected to cross the 35,000 crore milestone in 20 in 2022-23, and a jump of around 350 percent from the year 2021 to 22. That is a figure of 10,000 crore. E-commerce website says uh, said that consumers were trading goods worth almost thirty crore rupees every day across the globe. Thank you, sir. Thank you all. Very good presentation. Thank you.